Hi everybody, my name is Katie, if you have not seen any of our previous videos, and I am working with the Olive, showing you guys how to use their delicious products in your own home. So today's recipe that I have planned is an incredibly simple recipe, and it's one of my absolute favorite things to eat. And I wanted to do something to spotlight our newest product, which is our lime jalapeno balsamic vinegar. It's got a nice spice to it, but it's also got that real citrusy flavor as well. Um, so what I'm going to be making with uh, this is tacos. And I'm specifically doing chicken tacos today, but you could also do fish tacos or shrimp tacos with the same recipe. So I have done a little prep work to get started. And to save time for you guys, I have some boneless chicken that I have just cut into little strips. And then I added about two tablespoons of our lime jalapeno balsamic vinegar. Then also some spices. So I salt and peppered to taste. And then I used about half a tablespoon of cumin, paprika, uh, garlic powder. Um, and then you could also use just a taco seasoning packet if you wanted to do that and not use uh, the actual spices, make it a little easier on yourself. So I went ahead and did that all because I wanted to let it marinate for a little while. So this has been marinating in my refrigerator for a couple hours and it's ready to cook up. So I'm just going to cook it in a pan here on the stove. And um, it only takes a, a, like not long at all. You just wanna brown that meat. So to get started, I am gonna just drizzle the pan with a little bit of Zeala's olive oil. And you could use whatever flavor of Zeala's olive oil that you would like. Uh, garlic infused would be really good or roasted garlic. Or maybe you would even want to double up on the spice and use the olives jalapeno olive oil. Or you could just use one of our um, plain extra varietal oils as well, like a corneki or a pequal olive oil. So you just want to drizzle a little bit of that into the pan, basically just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. You don't want to use a whole lot of oil. Then of course we'll let our oil heat up and then add our chicken to the pan. All right, so it looks like our pan is nice and warm. So I'm just gonna take that chicken that's been marinating and add it to the pan. You can hear it start to sizzle. So we're just going to cook this up, like I said, until it has browned and turned a little bit of a golden color. While you're cooking, it might be nice to add just a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. All right, so that looks about done. It's gotten nice and browned. And just real quick, before I take it off the heat, I am gonna add just another little drizzle of our lime jalapeno balsamic vinegar as almost just like a little finishing sauce. Okay, so the chicken's done. I have removed it from the heat. This is actually the first time I'm ever trying something with the lime jalapeno balsamic vinegar. That's how new it is. So I actually am just gonna try a little piece here because it honestly smells delicious. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I'm not just saying that for the video. This might actually be my new favorite balsamic vinegar. Um, Holy cow, you can really taste the lime, but at the very end, it's just got the hintest bit of uh, uh, the spice from the jalapeno. It's really good. This would be so good on fish tacos or shrimp tacos. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> um, 
that was a blind taste test, but yeah, um, it's really, really good. So I'm excited to make these tacos. And of course now it is time to build our taco. So you can gather whatever toppings that you like. Um, it would even be actually really delicious if you wanted to go fajita style and maybe, um, cook up some onions and peppers and tomatoes with your chicken as well. I didn't do that today because I am all about quick and easy because I am not a professional chef. So I've gotten a pre-mixed fresh uh, pico de gallo and then I also am doing queso blanco and some sour cream. So let's get to building our taco. Okay, so first I'm going to put a little bit of chicken on here. Then I'm going to take my pico. Then finally some queso blanco that I got from the grocery store. And then to top it off, just a little bit of sour cream. And there you have it. It might not be the prettiest, but I assure you it is going to taste delicious. All right, so that does it. A delicious lime jalapeno chicken taco. Uh, this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. You have to cook it at home because I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, if you guys do try this recipe out at home, uh, make sure you tag us online, maybe post your pictures or your reaction, or even just go in the comments below and let us know how it worked out for you, especially if you try maybe fish or shrimp. I'm definitely gonna try those next time as well. Um, also, if you have any questions about any products, the recipe, or just anything about the olive in general, make sure you put those down in the comment section as well, and we will get back to you right away. Any of our products you can always order at www.zolive.com or you can always give us a call and speak to an associate directly if you need some help picking out which flavors are going to work best for you. If you have missed any of our previous videos, you can always check them out on our Facebook page. We have all of our videos there. Or if you have a video idea or a product you'd like to see us use, let us know. I'm always open to new ideas. Make sure you're following our Facebook page so you will see our next video. I'm going to go eat this. I hope you guys have a great night and see you next time.